everybody, I'm out here at Prairie Wind Nursery. I'm with Bill Ferris. And Bill, you started this nursery 27 years ago, right? Go ahead and tell us a story of kind of how you started this and what you guys do here. Well, uh, thanks for coming out. Appreciate the opportunity. We uh, started uh, in 1990 however many years ago that was. And, uh, you know, our emphasis uh, growing here is on culinary herbs and uh, native plant materials. And then other plant materials that may or may not be native to Oklahoma, but that do well here. But, you know, we like to uh, uh, promote water conservation and uh, just making garden easier for the, the landscaper or the homeowner or just planting good, tough, vigorous, uh, you know, plants that'll do well here in Oklahoma's climate. Awesome, let's go take a look and see what all you're doing here. Good deal, come this way. All righty. These are two particular things that I saw that I really wanted to, to show off here. So, uh, Bill, I'll let you take over and talk about what these two plants are. Sure. This is commonly known as Vietnamese cilantro. Uh, it is uh, Rao Ram, as the Vietnamese call it, but it's one of those plants that when your regular cilantro dies out uh, and goes to seed bolts in the heat, this will take a replacement through the summer and it will really thrive in the heat, loves the heat, and humidity, likes a little extra moisture but is uh, a really tasty alternative to regular cilantro. It's, it's, taste is not exactly the same, but it still has a good flavor. Uh, the Vietnamese use it a lot in soups and uh, fish dishes, I understand. And then the other one, this is culantro. It's an orangium in the thistle family. Uh, Rical is a uh, spice blend that is the folks from down in the Caribbean make from this with some other herbs kind of like used like curry but it is a really good flavored cilantro replacement now this plant loves the heat humidity but it's an understory plant where it grows wilder and native down in the caribbean so it, it likes some shade it definitely needs to be shaded in the afternoon sun here in oklahoma but it's a really good uh, summertime replacement for regular cilantro so on the east side of your house would be a great place to put something you bet. like this and it makes a great pot plant as well okay so like a patio area you bet some shade so awesome uh, I know, you know for, for one, I, I love having cilantro, and it goes to seed so quickly. I mean, I can't keep up with planting it. That's why when I saw Bill speak at the Oklahoma Organic Gardening Association meeting a few months ago, he talked about these two plants, and I picked up some seeds, and I started to try. I tried to start them from seed, but didn't have a lot of success, so I'm glad to see that they have some down here, you know, that you can buy. It's $4 for these plants here, and if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's, you're going to pay, you know, at that same price for something that's half the size that isn't this type of variety. You're not going to find this anywhere else. Trust me, I've looked everywhere. <laughs> this is the first place I've actually seen these in person. So come down here and check these out if you like to have some cilantro flavor through the summer whenever it's just too hot to have them. And if you're growing somewhere else outside of Oklahoma you don't have access to come here, definitely pick up these varieties and try it. Um, they're a great option in the summer whenever Anybody cilantro that can't falls. get down here can uh, check out the website too. We can ship it to them. Oh, awesome. I didn't know they had shipping on their website, yep. too. So, you yeah. Bet. You bet. There you go. So, go to prairiewindnursery.com, and you can pick up some of these plants here, and you can have cilantro all through the summer. I mean, it's 100 degrees in Oklahoma right now, mm -hmm. essentially, I mean, with humidity factored and everything, and this is doing great. So.